<laughs> this would have been great if I could actually spell. Trace Trapi. In the local Papiamento language, spoken throughout the Dutch Caribbean, it means three steps. It's a pretty straightforward name with one glaring issue. There are actually six steps, seven if you count the sand. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal, and the discrepancy isn't nearly as large as the overzealously named 1,000 steps dive site on Bonaire. Still, it's a terrific shore dive, and renaming it at this point is probably out of the question. So let's jump in and break it down. Trace Trappy is on the northwest coast of Aruba, about 500 feet north of the LG Smith Boulevard and Route 2 intersection. It doesn't have any visible street markers, but it is still easy to locate. You'll know you're at Trace Trappy because it has a single palm thatch umbrella. There is plenty of parking and you can use the Dibby Dibby trees for shade to keep your car cool while you dive. There really isn't any good place to gear up other than your vehicle. No rocks, benches, concrete ledges, or other convenient areas to spread out and methodically put everything together. Getting to the entry steps requires walking 50 to 100 feet, depending on where you parked. The parking area itself is relatively flat dirt mixed with some rocks and shells. At the edge of the parking lot, the ground gently slopes towards the water, however the rocks get much bigger. The last 20 feet is uneven, lumpy rock. The steps themselves can be handled in two ways. You can walk down just like any other staircase, but they can be a bit slippery and heavy gear could make balance tricky. Most divers we've seen, and we ourselves, prefer to turn around and back down the stairs using the rock itself for support. The first step using this method can be a bit precarious given that you have to bend over quite a bit for a handhold. But the further down you go, the easier it is to reach out and brace yourself. Once on the sand, it's literally a few steps and you're in the water. You may have to navigate through some snorkelers, but once you get deep enough, put on your fins, make sure your buddy is good, and start checking things out. Trace Trappy is a very shallow dive. You can swim out several hundred feet and still only be in 20 feet of water. Navigation is easy as the shore points almost directly west. Point your compass to due east and you will return to the shore. Whenever we go out, we typically spend 5 to 10 minutes at the concrete block, which sits out about 200 feet directly west of the entrance. A tremendously diverse group of sea life call that home. Throughout the dive site there are large patches of seagrass. Some of that is mixed with other interesting plant life, like these things that look like lollipops. Take some time to explore these grassy areas. A lot of creatures use that for food and shelter, like razorfish and this band-tail puffer. Along the coast, you'll notice some large slabs and boulders have broken off, providing additional habitats for underwater life. It can get a bit surgy depending on the tides and weather factors, so be careful and stay within your limits and comfort. Given the shallow depth at Trace Trappy, you won't see much big stuff here, but the sea life is no less spectacular. Throughout the dive, you'll encounter many fish common throughout the Caribbean. Also see a few inhabitants you don't see on every dive.
At the end of the dive, finding the exit is relatively easy as the mixture of sand, rock, and seagrass gives way to a rippled all-sand floor as you approach the entrance. You should also check out the night diving at Trace Trappy if you get the chance. But before we get to that, here's a blatant subscription appeal. We hope you enjoy watching this video as much as we did making it. We would like to make more, so please consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, and add a comment. Our goal is to reach at least 1,000 subscribers so we can earn a bit of money to defray costs. Thanks! Oh, and tell your friends! Night dives can be awesome. Many times you'll see animals that just don't come out during the day. Here's a small sampling of what we saw at Trace Tropy after sunset. Enjoy!